My name is Miranda. This lesson is for those of you who have very tight hips and probably find it quite difficult to sit cross-legged. It is really worth trying to get more mobility in the hips because not only is it going to affect your hips but it's going to affect your back and your knees. So many knee issues are caused by tight hips. So we will come onto the back. So come onto your back. And bring your knees in towards your chest. And then what I want you to do is to circle your knees, two circles. So bring your knees in towards you, then separate them, take them wide, take them away from you and back together again. Then in towards you, separate them, take them away from you and back together. And let those circles be as big as feels right for you. These circles might be quite big, but they might be really small. So just listen to your body as you move. Just allowing those circles to maybe get a little bit bigger if that feels right for you. Or maybe not today. And just listen, notice where it feels a bit tight if it feels the same on both sides or if it feels different. And take the circles in the other direction. And when we spend a lot of time sitting, we expect very little of our hips, so they really become tight. Even when we walk or cycle, not much freedom of movement is expected in the hips. So here we're really bringing back more of a freer movement in the hips. And that includes the pelvic floor, a very big part of the muscles in our hips and our pelvis. So here the pelvic floor is getting a bit of a stretch and a workout too. And then bring your feet onto the floor. Arms by your sides. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, tip your pelvis back. So your lower back presses down to the floor and squeeze your pelvic floor. That's a sense of together, in and up. Inhale, tip your pelvis forwards so there's a little arch in your lower back and release your pelvic floor. Exhaling when you're ready to, pelvis tips back, lower back presses down into the floor and squeeze your pelvic floor. Inhale, pelvis tips forwards. Again, a little arch happens in your lower back. And keep going, so your exhale, your pelvis is tipping backwards, your tummy muscles, you'll feel them engaging, pelvic floor muscles engaging too. Your inhale, the pelvis is tipping forwards, your back is arching, tummy muscles are relaxing, pelvic floor is relaxing. So just a few more times, it really helps to remind our pelvis where neutral is by going between the two extremes. And releasing muscles that are tight, strengthening muscles, that are forgetting to engage. And the next time you exhale, tip your pelvis back and press each vertebra into the floor before you peel it up off the floor to come up onto your shoulders, rolling up onto your shoulders in what's called bridge. Inhale there. And when you're ready to exhale, roll back down one vertebra at a time as much as possible to come back down onto your bottom. Resting breath on the inhale. And when you're ready to exhale again, tip your pelvis back and roll again one vertebra at a time to come back up onto your shoulders. Again, you're inhaling at the top. And you're exhaling to come back down. One more time in your own breath. So really see if you can roll each vertebra at a time. You might find some areas a bit clunky. Roll each vertebra up. And when you're ready to exhale, again, roll each vertebra back down again. And then when you're ready to, if you lift your hips up, into just a comfortable bridge. So bottom is up off the floor, shoulders are down, neck nice and long. Inhale, drop your bottom a little bit, 
Exhale, lift it. Squeeze your buttocks, lift up. Inhale, drop to bottom. Exhale, lift up. And keep going. So each inhale, you're just letting your body bottom drop a little. Each exhale, you're squeezing your buttocks and lifting up. And you just really feel those muscles in your glutes, your bottom muscles, strengthening, engaging. And when these muscles are active, it really helps to release the muscles in the front of the hips. A lot of sitting really makes weak glutes, short and tight muscles in the, in the hip flexors, the front. So just a few more times. And come down. Bring your knees in towards your chest. Hug your knees. And rock from side to side. Then slide your left leg along the floor. Keeping your right knee in towards your chest. Hug your right knee in towards your chest. And imagine you're pushing an imaginary wall away with your left foot. And press down with your left thigh. You should be getting a bit of space, a bit of stretch in the front of your left hip and a bit of spaciousness in your left hip socket as you reach that foot away and press the thigh down, drawing your right knee in towards your chest and breathe deeply. Long deep breaths and when we exhale more, our muscles let go more, so really use those breaths, deep inhale long slow exhale and then we're going to give the hamstrings a bit of a stretch here too hamstrings are often tight when our hips are tight too so if you take your hands behind your thigh and when you're ready to inhale take your right foot up towards the ceiling just to where you feel a stretch in the back of your thigh exhale bring the foot back down Inhale, take the foot up just to where you feel a stretch. Don't take the thigh away from you. Exhale, bring the foot back down. And a few more times. So keeping your thigh close towards your chest. And then the next time you take your foot up, keep it there. Keep reaching that foot up. Keep bringing the thigh in towards your chest. And then push your heel away. Reach away with the heel. And point your foot. Reach away with the heel and point your foot and let go. And bring your left knee in. Hug your left knee in. Slide your right leg along the floor. Push away with your right foot again. Press down with your thigh. And again, you'll probably be getting a bit of a stretch here in the front of the hip. And the more you reach that foot away, the more you'll feel that you're creating space in that hip socket. We often compress the sockets in our, in our hips, wearing away the cartilage. So it's really great to just really have some space there. So again, breathe deeply. Long, deep breaths. And again, use the exhale to encourage muscles that are tight to let go. And then catch hold behind your thigh. And when you're ready to inhale, take the foot up towards the ceiling, keeping your thigh close in towards you. Exhale, bring the foot back down. Inhale, take the foot up just to where you feel the stretch. Exhale, bring the foot back down. Again, a few more times. Inhale, taking it up. Exhaling to let it come back down. And when you take the foot up again this time, keep it there. And again, reach away with your heel. Point your toes. Reach away with your heel. And point. And then let go. Bring both knees in towards your chest and hug and rock from side to side.
bring your feet onto the floor. And if you bring your hands onto your hip bones, so you can see what those hip bones are doing. I want you to bring some movement to the side of the waist. Inhale and exhale, draw your right hip up towards your armpit. So you're shortening the right side of your waist. Keep your hold of the pelvis on the floor. Inhale, back to neutral. Exhale, draw your left hip up towards your left armpit. So again, your pelvis stays flat on the floor, but you're shortening the left side of your waist. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, right hip towards right armpit. Inhale, center. Exhale, left hip towards left armpit. Inhale, center. One more time, each side, just observing how easy that is or if it's actually surprisingly difficult. And then take your hands behind your head, if that works for you. If it doesn't work for your hands behind your head, they can be by your side. The head just resting in the hands, if that feels okay for you. Take your feet about as wide of the mat as the mat, if you have a mat, but otherwise wider than your hips. Take a deep breath in here. And exhale, take your knees over to the left, just as far as they go, and reach away and down with your right knee. Inhale, come back up to center. Exhale, take your knees over to the right. They might be, not go nearly as far as mine, so just reach away with the left knee when you're there, wherever you get to. Inhale, come back up to center. Exhaling over to the left and reach away and down with your right knee. Inhale, back to center. Exhaling when you're ready to, over to the right, so reach away and down with your left knee. And a few more times, again, just listening to your body as you move. And the next time you come over to the left, allow your knees to stay there. So just allow them to settle. Reach your way in down with your right knee. And if it feels appropriate to you, we're going to take the left foot and rest it just above your right knee. If that feels okay for you to do, then flex both your feet, so push away with your heels, and bring your left foot to rest just above the right knee. And just check that feels okay. If it feels uncomfortable in your knees, take it off. Because if our hips are tight, it puts a huge pressure on our knees. So when we're stretching our hips, we really want to be mindful of the knees. You should be feeling a lovely stretch from the side of the waist, maybe the front of the hip. Feeling a lovely internal rotation of the thigh. So breathe deeply here. Again, use the breath. Long, deep breaths. Inhale. And feel your body letting go, releasing on that exhale. Deep breaths. And then take the foot off. Bring your knees back up to center and over to the other side. And again, reach away and down with your left knee. And then again, if you feel it's going to be appropriate to pick the right foot up and bring it just above your left knee, then flex both your feet. Bring your right foot up just above the left knee and that just adds a little bit of weight to that stretch. But again, just check that if that's where you are, your knees feel happy. If you can feel, you can just let go and breathe deeply. If you feel it from your back, don't be here with the, with the foot on the knee. Or anywhere else, if you feel it in the back, the knee, any feelings of sharp pain, discomfort, it should feel like a good stretch. So again, use your breath, deep breaths in, long, slow exhales. Taking your awareness around your body.
and then come back up to center taking the foot off feet back to hip distance apart and bring your knees in towards your chest and hug your knees and rock from side to side and then if you roll over onto your belly and make a pillow with your hands and reach away with your feet so the middle of the feet are on the floor and we're going to use the buttocks here so we're going to engage the buttocks and the lower back to encourage a release from the front of the hip so inhale raise your right leg reach away and up with your right leg keeping the whole of your pelvis on the floor exhale come back down inhale left leg reach away and up with your left leg Exhale down. Inhale, right leg. Way and up. Exhale down. Inhale, left leg. Exhale down. And one more time each side. When you finish that left side, make that the last. And again, come onto your back. And again, bring your knees in towards your chest. Hug your knees and rock from side to side. Then bring your left foot onto the floor. And we're going to do something similar to what we did at the beginning, but with just one leg. So circle your right knee. You might find you want to have the hand on the knee. It doesn't have to be there, but don't feel restricted by the hand. Just circling that knee. Keep your pelvis still. You might want to have your left hand on your left hip just to make sure the pelvis stays still. You're not rocking the pelvis. So you're just rolling that right thigh in your right hip socket. Again, just encouraging a sense of freedom, fluidity in that hip socket. Take the circle in the other direction. And then bring your foot up towards the ceiling. If you can reach it, you can take the hand to the foot. But you may not be able to. You might feel you can reach the ankle. You might find that actually you can catch all of your leggings or you'll catch your bottoms, whatever it is you're wearing. If not, catch hold behind your thigh. Your knee wants to be reaching out beyond your armpit. Breathe deeply here. Wherever your hand is, it's helping to draw that thigh out. Down and out. Breathe deeply. And bring the foot back down. And the left leg. So circle the left knee. And again, you might find you want the right hand on the right hip, just to make sure your pelvis stays still, level. Again, really feel what you're doing is that thigh is rolling in the hip socket. Again, just encouraging a sense of freedom, fluidity in that hip. And take the circle in the other direction. And then take your foot up towards the ceiling. And again, if you are able to catch on the foot, that's great, but you may not be able to. It might be the ankle, it might be your leggings or your tracksuit bottoms, or it might be behind the thigh. And again, draw that leg out beyond your armpit, so down towards you and out, and breathe deeply. Long, deep breath. And bring the foot back down. Then bring your feet together. 
and inhale, open your knees out. You might feel you want to support your thighs with your hands as you open them up, but allow the soles of your, your feet to come together. And then just encourage your body to let go. The knees wide, soles of the feet together. You might find it's nice just to rub the inner thighs. They can get very tight here. Or anywhere else that you feel a bit of tightness restriction, maybe the front of the hips. Or maybe just rest your hands on your thighs. Just encouraging those thighs to open, to let go. And again, breathe deeply. Use the breath. Long, deep breath. And again, the pelvic floor is getting a stretch here too. And we can often have an imbalance in our pelvic floor muscles, which can have a big pull in different parts of our bodies, on our sacroiliac joint, on our back, on our knees even. Again, just observe, take your awareness around your body, listening, encouraging it to let go. And then bring your knees back up towards each other. Bring your knees in towards your chest, hug your knees and rock from side to side. And then if you've got a wall near you, or you could use a chair, or anything really that you could put your foot up onto, I'm going to use this wall here. If you bring your feet up higher, and have your right foot, again, flex the ankle, flex the foot, and rest that right foot just above the knee, and encourage that right thigh to open out to the right, by just putting your hand on it, encouraging it to head out. Now, the further you are away from the wall, the easier it is. The closer you are to the wall, the bigger the stretch. So just be where you feel a satisfying stretch in that hip. And again, breathe. Push your bottom away and down into the floor as you take that thigh out to the side. You might find after a little while that you can just wriggle your bottom a little bit closer to the wall just to increase that stretch more. And again, take that thigh out. And release. And if you have gone a little bit closer, move a bit further away just for the other leg to start in the same place you were before. And then left foot. Flex that foot again to protect the knee. Bring it to rest just above your right, right knee. And again, encourage that left thigh to head out. Push your bottom away and down. And again, listen to your body. Listen to that stretch. Breathe deeply into it. And again, you might find after a little while that you can just wriggle your bottom a little bit closer towards the wall. And again, push that thigh out, bottom reaching away and down. and release, come out of it. And then come away from the wall. And bring your right thigh over the top of your left thigh, snuggle them over each other, and bring your knees in towards you. And catch hold around the knees, maybe. You might find you can catch hold of the shins. If you do, flex your feet. So again, you're protecting your knees. You might even feel that you can reach your ankles, but not if there's a remote strain. If you're very tight in the hips, you're probably more around the knees or the shins. And bring your knees in towards you and push your bottom away and down. You're aiming to get a stretch here and deep in the right buttock. So if you're feeling a stretch there, you're in the right place. So the knees in towards you, 
bottom reaching all the way in down and again breathe deeply long slow breaths exhaling fully really again reminding yourself that the exhale is where we let go of tension we often don't exhale enough so we build tension up in our bodies which becomes tightness so deep breath and exhale fully and let go and change leg take your left thigh over the top of your right thigh and again snuggle them over each other bring your knees in and again, flex the feet if you're going to catch hold any lower than your knees. So draw your knees in towards you. Reach your bottom away and down. Don't throw your head back as well. So if you feel that you are throwing your head back, it can be nice to put something underneath your head just to lift up there. Again, breathe deeply. Again, listening to your body, reaching your way in down with your bottom as you bring your knees in towards your chest. You'll be getting that stretch deep in your left buttock this time. Then use the exhale, deep inhale. Long exhale, feel those muscles letting go. and let go unhook the legs take your knees wide and again we're going to come into the full happy baby this pose is called both knees wide this time you might find you're catching hold behind your thighs so you're drawing your knees wide out beyond your armpits or you might find you can catch hold of your ankles or your leggings just possibly you can catch hold of the feet but probably not if you have very tight hips and again rock from side to side and again, in this position, it can be nice to have something underneath your head. If you feel you're tempted to throw your head back, rock from side to side, give your back a massage. So wherever the hands are, it's the same thing. Knees heading out beyond your armpits. And then knees in towards your chest and hug and rock there. and feet on the floor and then roll over onto your side and come up Om Shanti peace I will be doing another video for the hips the next one will be a little bit stronger some standing poses and some lunges so if you have very tight hips it might be better for you to stick with this one just for the moment until your hips are a little bit more flexible. But then the two should be fairly complementary to each other. So you might be able to then move on and do both. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much. If you haven't subscribed already, please do.